everybody, welcome to Buzz TV. My name is Eva Baker and you're watching Sensible Leadership where we're helping tomorrow's leaders grow today. Today I am talking with Paul Martinez of the Boys and Girls Club. Paul, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, really appreciate it. Yeah, so I read that you were actually involved in a Boys and Girls Club when you were growing up, is that right? Exactly, I, uh, I grew up in New York okay. and uh, I was, we call them club kids. So I was a club kid from okay. when I was seven years old to 12 years old. My wow. brother and I would go to the Boys Club Boys and Girls Club every day after school. That's awesome. So uh, how do you think being involved in the club helped you develop your leadership skills? Well, it's, it's uh, definitely a life-changing experience. And I, I think for me, I learned by uh, the counselors that I had at that time, right. seeing how they acted and uh, how they managed. And it was just um, uh, being able to make a connection with, with kids. And uh, it's, it's, it's stayed with me since. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Did you ever think as a child that you would be now heading up the Northeast Florida Boys and Girls Club. That's so Not crazy. Not in my wildest <laughs> dreams. I, uh, I I had an advertising agency for 25 years here mm -hmm. in Jacksonville, and and after that I went to work with the uh, city of Jacksonville for a couple of years. Okay. And then this opportunity came, and then I knew that this was uh, the place that God wanted me to be. So I, it's 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 a great blessing to be working here. That's awesome, and it's so amazing you having the connection of being in it when you were a child and now getting to run it. That's just really cool. Yeah, it's full circle. Yeah, well, completely full circle. So. You know, I think that I read that you guys um, oversee about 1,500 kids just in the area here almost every day. So what do you think is the most difficult challenge that children and, and younger teens face when they're trying to learn um, about leadership and when they're trying to develop those good leadership skills? Well, I think uh, for, for teenagers, it's um, getting good role models. Mm -hmm. I, I find that sometimes uh, in that group that there's not a, a lot of good role models. And uh, once they've identified someone that's good, then they, then they tend to look up to them. Uh, the, the population that we serve, 70% of our kids come from single parent households. Right. And it's, it's usually um, uh, a female raising the, the, mm -hmm. the children. So they're, they're living with their, uh, their mom or their grandmother or their auntie is, is, is raising them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you believe that them coming into this club and being able to have strong role models that can really affect their their leadership skills and, and how they how they grow up. Well, well, we give them a chance. You know, it's a busy world. And when I was growing up, we didn't have the, the cell phones and 300 channels right. and uh, uh, bullying wasn't what it, what it is now with, with cyber bullying. Uh, back in the day when you had a disagreement with someone, right. you'd go at 2.30 when the bell rang and you'd settle it underneath the tree. Mm -hmm. Now um, bullying is taking on a different perspective with cyber bullying and mm -hmm. it just, it's something that's constant that goes on throughout. So that's, so that's tough. But, and again, it, it goes back to role models. Right. Absolutely. What would be your your top advice to a teen? If you were standing in front of a room full of teenagers, what would you say to them? That's a good question. <laughs> I would um, tell them to uh, take the, take the time and think for themselves. And uh, if you're not a leader, then automatically you're really a follower, mm -hmm. right? So I would uh, have them kind of do an assessment of as to who they're hanging out with right. and uh, who, who they're admiring and for what reasons. Right. And then from there, you'll probably get a good answer of, as to am I, am I going the right way? Absolutely. That is really important, I think, for everyone to take the time to assess, you know, who you're spending your time with, who it is that you look up to, so that you can kind of reflect on that and say, well, maybe, you know, maybe I need to make a change there. That makes a lot of sense. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for joining us here at Buzz TV. Again, my name is Eva Baker, and we'll see you next time.